1959 Sputnik, the first satellite start its mission. Since then, human has launched thousands of satellites up to space. Sadly, when they run out of fuel, they are either being pulled back to the Earth and burned out while entering the atmosphere, or sent itself to space graveyard. Today, there are a large number of satellites out of fuel floating in space, which automatically transform into space garbage. Countries like Canada, China, and Russia have all been devoted to experiments and researches to solve this problem, but they all meet a severe problem. The cost of launching a new refueling satellite is extremely higher than the profit made by the satellite after the refueling process. From our perspective, since only refueling a single satellite doesn't seem to be in line with economic considerations, why don't we launch a gigantic fuel station into space and utilize robot to refill abandoned satellite? By doing so, we can not only save more satellite, but also effectively reduce the cost of launching a new satellite. However, when it comes to refueling different satellites, the adaptability needed by these robots becomes significant. A robot has to be able to refill while functioning properly. Furthermore, in some refill missions, the station might be very close to a satellite, which may lead to catastrophic consequences if something goes wrong. To deal with all the above problems, we have come up with a brilliant idea, the spider refilling robot. The reason we choose the name Spider is due to the strong environmental adaptability and agility of these robots. Just like real spiders, it is also a reference to their clearly distinguishable spider-like structure. Its specially designed body made it easy to succeed in any mission regardless of the severe environment. To start with, the body of the spider is connected to the spacecraft by a cable which transport all we need to do is cast the spider on the satellite accurately. And then we can control it remotely. The spider can be operated by spacemen or just by a computer. Due to the fact that there isn't any air in the space, just throwing the spider under the satellite would work. So, we equip our spider a cutting edge technology. Its footpads are covered by the microfibers modeled after the gecko's toe hair, which is celebrated for its ability to scuttle up the windows and along the walls. And now let's take a look at the feet of our robot. They are covered with microfibers. They give our robot a molecular force. It is this force allow our robot to work freely on a satellite. The spider's special design fit interact with the climbing surface to create a molecular force called Van der Waals force. With Van der Waals force, the spider will no longer depend on the air and can freely work in space. As a result, the station will have more time to refill other satellites. As you can see, we can work freely on a surface. And also on the wall. <laughs> Furthermore, the distance between the spacecraft and the satellite will be increased. Thus, decreasing the risk of them crashing into each other. The filling gun and the battery jar are located at the abdomen of the spider robot. The cable connects the tail end of the spiders 
which links to the refueling gun. The camera and the computer are seated within its head. The design of the camera can let the operator know the status and the position of the spider robots at all times. Last but not least, on an economical aspect, our robot also shows great potential. Actually, the referring process is now being done in a really expensive, ineffective, and dangerous way. It is really expensive and ineffective because a lot of resources are spent on referring station only for a one-time use. And it's very dangerous because the referring station needs to be very close to a satellite and can therefore crash into a satellite at any time for any reason. Plus, the empty referring station can become space garbage, which can be a dangerous obstacle in our future space mission. Now, take a look at our robot. It features more size and flexibility. Therefore, we no longer have the risk of collision during the process. Even in the worst situation, we will only use a spider robot instead of the whole gas station. Added to this is the fact that our station contains more fuel and more pipe tanks, which means we can refill multiple satellites with a single refueling station. Imagine that the mission that used to be done by many refueling stations can now be done by one. We believe that the resources, money, material, etc. that could be safe could be significant. Acting further than others, that is because we are standing on the shoulders of giants. Our world combines animal intelligence, engineering skills, and cutting edge technology. We believe that animals, which seems ordinary in our life, can be extraordinary in the future. Thank you for listening to our presentation. In the near future, we can transform our robot into a cleaning robot. Due to the fact that there are lots of space garbage floating in space, we can utilize the flexibility of our robot to collect rubbish in space. We can also transform our robot into a maintaining robot. It can fix the problem as soon as it happens. Again, we believe that the animals less than ordinary can become extraordinary in the future. It is not only the core of our presentation, but also a treasure to all humankind.